Hi, this is Tim Alosi from New England Controls, and today we're going to talk about managing your paper. In all of our facilities, we've spent a lot of money automating equipment. However, there are a lot of processes and work practices within our facilities that still depend on paper and procedures. That's what I want to talk about today. In a recent review of a glass washroom at a biotech facility, I noticed that for five pieces of equipment, a glass washer, an osmometer, a carboy washer, an autoclave, and a COP bath, there were over 25 SOPs, forms, and logbooks that the operator needed to manage on a day-to-day -day basis. When I observed that room, rather than the tables and the shelves being used to stage pieces of glass and valves to be cleaned, they were covered with logbooks to manage the paper. This is not optimal for the operators to get their job done. The good news is there is a better way to do it and it's not that hard. So what I wanted to show you today is an electronic logbook approach using Syncade and its equipment tracking module. Let's get started with what the operator might see. The operator would typically start their day from the operations portal and since we're talking about equipment, let's some select some equipment to work on. For our demo today, I'm going to use our simulation scale and we're going to check the accuracy. Normally we would want to check the accuracy every day to ensure that the scale is within tolerance before using. We're going to click the lightning bolt there to execute an event and the event choices that we have that we're going to work on today is the check accuracy with workflow. A workflow is procedural guidance through the event that governs and controls how data is entered and recorded as well as the flow of the control in case there's an error during the execution of the event. By selecting next here and recording our electronic signature we will proceed forward. Now right now we've just started this activity and the operator is going to have to execute the event. So I'm going to close my equipment dashboard and we're going to proceed on. As we can see in our to be performed area of our portal we now have a workflow to be executed. I'm going to start that workflow up. With the workflow running we can see that the operator is, pre is presented with a procedural guidance on how to do the accuracy check. We see we have a hyperlink to the procedure in case they need to reference it. We can see that we're working on our simulation scale piece of equipment. The operator is reminded to ensure that the scale is level prior to performing the accuracy check and that they're going to be using test weight A. The instruction is to record the test weight, place the weight on the scale, and press proceed. Now a lot of times with paper tracking, Manual transcriptions is a big cause of errors. What we're going to use here today is barcoding in order to facilitate data entry for the operator. So with my barcode I'm going to scan the ID of the test weight. Once the ID is recorded I can proceed on. The Syncade system is designed to support part 11 and capture electronic signatures as appropriate. With my signature captured, the system proceeds. Now, we have a current rating, reading and we're going to proceed again. Please note that this is not the correct reading and I'm going to show you how the system will procedurally guide the operator if there's an error. We're going to record our electronic signature again and move on. This time the operator is guided and says that this reading was outside of the acceptable range. It reminds him what the lower and upper tolerances are and to perform an internal calibration per the procedure. Then to retry or abort. Let's retry and continue. Returning to our previous instruction, we'll scan the test weight again in case there was an issue with the test weight that required a change in test weights.
We're going to set this balance up to the correct value. As we see now, the current reading is correct, and we're going to proceed. With test weight A accurately checked, we now proceed on to test weight B. Similarly, we're going to record the value of test weight B, and we are going to set it on the scale, and we'll set the scale to the correct value here prior to pr proceeding on, and then we're going to proceed. We're going to record our electronic signature. The system's going to go out and automatically read the scale and present us with the information. We're inside our tolerances. We're going to proceed to record the weight. And the system is going to complete the workflow. As you can see today, we guided the operator through the procedure, ensuring that they had the correct information. We automatically interfaced to scales so that they didn't have to transcribe any information. When there was an error, we repeated it in a controlled fashion, reminding them to do a calibration in order to correct the problem. As you can see, using electronic workbook and electronic logbooks really facilitates managing the equipment in your facility and eliminates a lot of problems caused by paper. I hope you learned something here, and I hope to see you at the ISPE show in October of 2011. Thank you.